Hey, what's up guys? Back again at it. I got a fragrance you can know by now by the picture and the icon and the title. We're talking about CK1 and CKB. Which one is better? You know, Dark Angel or Light Angel, Light Worker? Which one wins this battle? All right. For longevity on these two. A lot of people say CKB doesn't have good longevity. For me on my skin, I don't know, maybe I have a really good bottle or a really good batch of CKB that lasts a long time and projects very well. So, um, and this is my first bottle of CKB. So I watched a lot of reviews and a lot of people were saying that it doesn't project, it doesn't last crap. But this is a very good scent for me. I get compliments with it and it lasts a long time. And I love the bottle. I still have the cap so I can travel with it too. CK1 is new for, it's not new for me. I had it back in high school. Gorgeous scent. Opening, a bit alcoholic. But once it gets in, once it gets in gear, it's really good. I get a lot of compliments with this one. Projection is a bit more. It's more than CKB. Longevity. Eh, longevity is not as long as CKB. It's, um, unless I, unless it's on clothes, but longevity does not last as long as CKB. Projection is more actually. It has more projection, but doesn't last as long as CKB. Now, I don't really want to get these. Uh, up here so I can tell you the notes. I, I have some reviews on these scents. However, I want to tell you again. I think I've had this on my channel, CKB, a couple of times. However, um, it doesn't really matter. I think I remember the notes anyways. Oh, here we go. Give me a sec, guys. Hold up for me. Hold up. What's going on here? How's your day going? Hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend. All right, for CKB, it's pretty simple. But they both have a lot of notes. These are like a little bit older scents, so they have a lot of notes. For CKB, we have lavender, musk, uh, some green notes, sandalwood. We have bergamot, uh, mint, grassy notes. We have cedar. Peach, I smell a lot of peach in this scent. Vanilla, orange, oblaminum, amber, and white florals. And uh, what is this, orchid? Orchid, so I guess it's the orchid and the white florals. It's a white floral, it's a white woody white floral musk, right, am I right? Yeah, floral woody musk, okay? So this is a floral, white floral woody musk with a with a, with a heavy dose of peach and a light, 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 um, Vanilla and lavender. Actually, lavender is actually, you can smell lavender here as well. So there's a lot of notes in there, but you can kind of smell everything there. On the other hand, this one is more of a citrusy type of scent. It's more citrus in here. So there's lemon, green notes, bergamot. And that's right when you spray, that's what you smell. Then it gets musky, it's got pineapple. It's, also like, it's, like, it's not a so, super sweet pineapple, but it's like a citrusy type of pineapple. And it's got cedar. And uh, you know, it's a ylang ylang. All right, no, Lily of the Valley, I'm sorry. Lily of the Valley. Orange, Jasmine, Sandalwood, Cardamom, Violet. Is it Violet? Yes. Nutmeg. And then what is this, this, this one right here? This is a papaya. Yeah, actually, yeah, it's got that fruity note to it as well. And then it has um, orris root, which, you smell throughout the scent because I know what orris root smells like. You smell it throughout the scent. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's orris root, but you can detect it. If you know what orris root smells like, you'll smell it in here. But it's not too heavy. It's like a light, but it's there from top to bottom. And this one is a citrus aromatic. Aromatic. So that's exactly what it's about. It's a citrus scent. Now, these both. Smell totally different, but they're both unisex. You know, they're both unisex scents. This being a citrus unisex scent, smells still smells more feminine than this woody floral musk. All right, the musk here is musky. It, it gets musky towards the dry down. Now, this CKB, 
when I first got it, I think I started spraying it on clothes. It was a terrible mistake. It smells, it gives your clothes this wet, like uh, old mildew type of clothes. Like if you throw your clothes in the hamper and they're wet and you come back to it and smell it, that's kind of like this, with, or like you leave your clothes in a washing machine, right? And then you come back to your washing machine and you forgot it for like two days. That smell, that's what it kind of gives off. So you don't want to just spray this on clothes. This has to go directly on skin to activate and do what it's thing. Because if this goes on your clothes, it, it smells nasty. It's weird. It smells good for a little bit. And then as it dries down, it doesn't smell good anymore. So you have to spray this on skin. And it's very gentle on your skin. It's a very gentle uh, liquid. It's a very gentle juice. So you don't have to worry about your skin reacting badly unless like I say you spray on your neck a whole lot and then go directly in the sunlight that will be a different situation but if you just spray and you're you're sensible with it you'll be fine now CK1 uh, is citrus aromatic you spray it and then it it, it projects you know it's it's it, it, it carries in the air and you have a big scent bubble not a huge scent bubble but fairly large a CKB scent bubble is right about I say about right about here. Okay, this is your scent bubble, and then CK one would be about four feet, like three more feet out. So you'll be able to be you'll be able to fill up a little bit of an area with CKB. Good for the gym, really good for the gym. But this has like a heavier siage. It kind of like moves around as you move. I like to talk about that siage, silage. I used to call it siage. As you move, it carries and it leaves the central. So if you're sitting in your car and you leave your car and come back, you'll smell that you were in CKB in your car. If, you, um, if you're using a, a workout machine and you maybe spray it on your arm and you, and you touch the machine in some sort of fashion and someone comes and starts using it, they're like, mm, what's that smell? I've had that happen to me before, before with CKB where I sprayed my arm and used, it, used some equipment and came back and some, I left and then the next person came in on it and starts smelling like, wow, it smells nice. It kind of does that. So it, it's sticky and it has a good siage. This citrus, this one, I get I get compliments on this one as well, but I get more with CKB. I, I don't know what, what the reason is behind it, but I think it's probably that this lasts a little bit longer and the type of smell of it is a little bit more sweet. Now, what I'm thinking it is, is that, what I'm thinking is that uh, because this because this has vanilla and peach it's a little bit more unique and that musk is a lot more muskier so that sweet vanilla with the white floor the wooden floor musk it's uh, people like it more uh, the citrus aromatic i like it a lot and it gets me compliments which is not as much as ckb so if you're thinking of which one to get i would recommend you get ckb first absolutely Okay, and don't don't think that you can't wear this because where you use this is in the gym, is uh as in, in, in the office. Okay, and any or you may want to try this one too. You may want to get this one as well because this is really good. It's not like this is better and this is not good at all. This is better slightly, but I get some more. This is better. Okay, so CKB is better than CK one for me on my skin. You may have different mileage on the CK one than I do. But for my, for my type of skin, CKB is better. Now, uh, pricing, these are around $20. They've been around for a long time. Uh, reformulation, uh, I think this was reformulated because I remember this one projecting even more than what it projects right now. So yeah, I never had this one before. So I don't know if this has been reformulated, but I'm sure it has because it's been out since like the 90s. I'm sure it's been reformulated. So yeah, but these this one brought back memories and I really I really have a lot of fun wearing this and this one um, is new to me. So it's a completely new scent, scent profile for me. And you know, I'm having a lot, I've been having a lot of fun wearing this. I've had this for several years now. And this is a bigger bottle. I recommend getting the bigger bottle because you spray this one. Oh yeah, do not over spray any of these scents. You go six to eight sprays, six to eight sprays with these and don't go anymore for the rest of the day. You may think, you can top off, but I would recommend topping off at like the five hour mark. Don't think that you can't, because if you spray too much, I think, is it spices are in here? 
something in here that it's uh not that it becomes clawing but it could become clawing if you spray like 16 sprays it depends on the person but think about that so yeah if you guys have any questions on this ck1b collab ask me in the comment section below and you guys have a fantastic weekend talk to you later peace